Hello guys and welcome to this new Power BI tutorial. In this video I'm going to create the following interactive dashboard which is about 120 years of Olympics data. As you can see here I'm going to create different charts. For example we have horizontal bar charts, vertical bar charts, scatter plots, distributions and also I'm going to use filters. So here we have six filters. First one is for different sports that exist within the Olympics. We have sex for male and female. We have the year, so from start date to end date. We have the city, medals, and also the season. For the charts, we are going to create countries by total medals, athletes by total medals, athletes by year, height and weight correlation, top 10 sports by total medals, athletes by height, weight, and age. For example, if we choose another type, we get the new values from all the charts same thing if we select all same thing for the seasons we have winter or summer etc but before start creating our dashboard we are going to first explore our data set here we have our data set on kaggle so you can find this link in the description if you want to download it directly from kaggle and also you can find the link to my github repository to download this data set and also the logo the data set contains Olympics data from 1896 to 2016. And as you can see here for the content, we have mainly 15 columns. The first one, it is an ID, so unique number for each athlete. The name of the athlete, sex, age, height, weight, and the team, so the team name. We have National Olympic Committee, games, so year and season. We have the year, which is an integer season we have two seasons so summer or winter we have the city so host city the sport the event and also the medals so we have gold silver and bronze and also we have an ace okay but we are not going to remove the an ace okay as we are going to calculate the total medals by country and also by athlete right now we are going to import this data set on power bi and start creating our charts so here we create a new project and in order to import our data set, we click on Get Data and we select Text CSV, Connect, and we import Athlete Events file. So here we have Athlete Events.csv, we click on Load. Once we have imported our data set, as you can see here, we have all the columns. We are going to convert three columns from text data to integers. These columns are age, height, and weight, and we are going to use them to create our distributions. To do that, we click in here, transform data. So we have Power Query Editor, right? We select three columns. As you can see here, we have the age, the height, and weight. They are text data. So we select first one, second one, and third one. Okay, we go to transform. And as you can see here, data type from text, we select whole number. Replace current. Okay, now we have errors. In order to create our charts, we are going to replace the errors by zeros and we use a filter for all the values which are strictly greater than zero. To do that, we go to replace values, replace errors, and the value put zero. Okay. All right, so I'm going to save that. And you can give a title to your projects, all right? So I gave it the name of Olympics project and click on apply. Okay, once it is done, you can close this one. And do you want to apply your changes now? Select yes. Okay, so here we have the weight, the height, and the age as integers. Now we start by creating our filters. And to do that, we go to here, slicer, we click, and our first filter will be sport. So we'll click on sport. Okay, now I'm going to format our filter and we are going to duplicate that to create the other filters to avoid formatting each filter by itself. First thing that we are going to do is to go here, slicer settings style it will be drop down for general 
we have effects border on it will be black 24 rounded corners okay now we decrease this one like that okay put it here and also for the values we select bold and it will be in black okay so here we have sports we're going to copy that okay second one we do that four more times so second one here this one in here and the last one it will be in here okay so we can just decrease one of them all right so the second one it will be sex okay the third one it will be the year and for the year we're going to select so slider settings it will be between okay next we have the city so we remove sport and replace it by city next we have middle right and the last one it will be the season okay so like that we have all the filters and also i'm going to import the logo so click on insert here we have add an image to your report and we add our logo okay so you can put it in the center like that all right with the black border and rounded corners 20. okay next we are going to create our first horizontal bar chart for total middles by country so we go here we select clustered bar chart so on the x-axis we are going to have the count of middles right and on the y-axis we are going to have the team all right same thing we are going to format our chart and duplicate it several times for each chart to avoid formatting each chart by itself first thing that we are going to do is to remove the titles so for y-axis title off same thing for the x-axis title off also for the grid lines off and also for the values for both y axis and x axis it will be black bold okay same thing for the x axis so values bold and black and also we can add the labels so if we decrease here there are labels and the values they will be bold black and it will be inside center okay for example if we select female gold and summer we get our values now we add the border it will be black 20 and also the title so we have countries by total metals okay so we copy this one paste it in here decrease the sizes a little bit and here for the title as we have said it will be in the center black bold and same thing in here it will be athletes by total metals okay so bold and it will be black in the center so instead of the team we are going to have the name of the athlete all right for the names 
we can go to y-axis and increase the maximum width to for example 40 percent in order to see the names okay so like that normally we have our charts next we are going to click on this one copy paste right put it in here so we remove team middle convert it to clustered column chart right and on the x-axis we are going to put the year on the y-axis we are going to put the id and the title it will be total athletes by year right so it will be in the center right and we are going to remove the grid lines so grid line the label off and for grid line or vertical off and for the color we are going to put yellow as you can see on the logo we have blue yellow green red and black so we are going to use all the colors in the different charts to get all the colors within the logo so for this one we are going to put it in yellow so for visual colors color and we select yellow right same thing we are going to copy paste that okay so put it in here okay and instead of here so go back to here we remove everything so on the x-axis we are going to put the sport and y-axis we are going to put count of middle okay for the filters sport we select top n so it will be top 10 sports by total middles right and we have here the count apply all right we can add the labels so if we go here turn a label on and i'm going to decrease the size to eight right it will be outside end and the title it will be top 10 sports by middles right so top 10 sports by middles all right same thing on the x-axis for example okay we can decrease the okay put it eight all right okay same thing we can click on this chart copy paste put it in the center like that okay so convert it to scala chart we remove everything on the x-axis we are going to put the height and the y-axis we are going to put the weight so don't summarize don't summarize and here for example we can choose the minimum value for x-axis okay so for the height to be for example 110 okay so this will be height height and weight correlation right and the color we are going to put it in red so markers color and we select red okay so like that we have height and weight correlation okay and the last charts will be the distributions so same thing we copy paste this one can put it in here right and on the x-axis we remove here and we put the h so here we have h distribution right 
same thing on the x-axis you can put minimum 10 and for the color I'm going to put it not grid lines colors in green so my colors and we select the green okay it's green all right so the title will be athletes by age all right same thing we copy paste that twice so one we put it in here like that okay the second one like this so this one it will be the height or the weight and this one it will be the height right okay for example for the height we can change the minimum to 110 and the weight for example 230 same thing you can change the title so this one it will be the weight and this one it will be the height all right for example for the x-axis we can display the title and we put it in black and bold right and same thing for the weight okay so now if we close all this like that to get our final dashboard for the 120 years of olympics there so that's it for this tutorial i hope that you have learned new things thanks for watching and see you in next tutorial